So dwarves were important during the last episode, um, but I figure things might be like make a little more sense if I were describing the races in context of a world. Um, I mean, I can talk about dwarves all I want and their beards and things like that, but unless it means something in the context of a world, uh, it will be pretty pointless. So instead of working on a race this week, I decided to work on a plane in Con World. Uh, and this is one that I haven't already developed, um, so it's, it's from scratch. Thaelis is a water-heavy world with an archipelago of islands scattered about its surface. Theme-wise for the world, as I'm thinking so far, is sort of a colonial high seas kind of thing. Exploring, finding new islands, small city-state-like governments that have wars. Um, the greatest nations, though, are in the sea, and upsetting them would be extremely dangerous for any city-state foolhardy enough to do so. Merfolk would be masters of this world, having large underwater cities. Leviathans would lurk in the depths, the high seas becoming a place of adventure and danger as the threats from below linger. So as stated in the previous episode, dwarves were created to maintain super magical devices. I've decided dwarves are present in this world, so let's identify why they were placed here. I'd like to name the magical device they operate the crucible, because I think it sounds cool. A crucible is a superheating container used to melt or refine metals or other substances. Perhaps this magical device is half buried in the sea to cool it as it functions, like a dome coming out of the water with steam billing around it as the surrounding water boils. So the crucible should make a metal of some kind, something rare in every other world, something that takes years to refine in an almost particle accelerator-like fashion, making the crucible the only structure able to produce it. An amethyst is what I will call this metal. It is durable, but its major property is that it is a remembering metal. After creation, the metal remembers the shape of its creation and will reform itself given enough time. Blades made of an amethyst never dull. It can be melted down and, and then put itself back together based on its original shape. This is because an amethyst has had an amount of soul fused to it, something that thinks almost unconsciously. The original gods would use it in constructions, so their buildings could never truly fall. The crucible is made entirely out of this metal, enabling it to survive the intense conditions churning inside of it. The greatest of magical weapons, armaments, and devices are made from this material, gifting them with an almost eternal nature. An amethyst is practically required in the making of true sentient items due to its soul-bound function. The only way to deconstruct an amethyst item without it reconstructing is through highly advanced magical means. So there is the start of Thaelis. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's shorter. Uh, there's not as many pictures. I kind of had a busy week, but um, tell me what you're world building currently. I'd love to hear. Uh, thanks. See you next time.